show you how to edit this classroom schedule so that you can use it in your classroom, whether you're in-person learning, hybrid learning, or distance learning, you will be able to use this editable Google Sheets classroom schedule that I've created for you in your classroom to keep everyone in the loop about what's going on in your classroom this year. So basically what I did is I'm working on, um, for example, lesson plans for next week. You can click and edit it here. You can type in the date. You can edit, change the text, any of that. Here I merged all of these cells. So if you wanted to type more details about certain things that are going on, if you're in person, maybe you have an assembly or um, maybe it's fire prevention week and you have those special things going on, or maybe you want to put in what you're um, cooking for fun food Friday. You could certainly put that all, all of that data in here. Here are the days of the week. And then over here on this side, if you wanted to, you could put your objectives and standards for each of the, the sections for that, um, for that week. Then you have over here, you have your schedule along the side and it goes all the way down. I did add some extra boxes in here and if you wanted to make more boxes, you certainly could do that on your own. Then in here is where I'm gonna show you how to add in these pictures. If you're looking for these schedule icons so that they're all formatted the same, you can use the icons from the digital visual schedule. There are over 150 icons in there that you can use. And this is just the folder pulled up from the school schedule icons. And then there are home school schedule icons as home school schedule icons. That was correct <laughs> in there as well that you can use to, to do both one or the other if, uh, parents. If you're watching, you could use this schedule to plan out your weeks or your months to do that kind of thing. So those are the icons that I'm going to be using for this. And you can find them linked um, with the in the text of this video, whether it's above or below the video. Above, you're going to put whatever you're doing for that specific time frame. So we're pretending that this is for in-person learning. And I'm just going off of my self-contained classroom from a few years ago. So the first part of the day was arrival and breakfast. So I put the breakfast image here. And then if you wanted to show a certain video or there was a zoom link where you're all coming together doing something you could you can type in this box here so maybe let's just say um, there's no link so i'll show you how to link down here because it'll make more sense when i do it with an actual link that correlates with that section of the the school schedule um, so now we're going to work on the eight to nine so for eight to nine it's calendar so you can type in, I'm just going to retype it to show you. So you have calendar here. Um, you're going to re-highlight it. And then you see this little box. If you drag it across, it will auto copy that into. If you drag it down, it will copy it into these all the way down and through. So I just did it straight across and it copies it. So I don't have to retype calendar all of those times. Now to insert the picture, you're going to go to insert image an image from the cell. Now I'm going to open up this, all of the school schedule icons. Now I'm working on a Mac. It might look a little differently working on a PC, but it should be about the same. Since we're doing calendar, I'm going to insert the calendar time image, and that will stick it in the box. Now, if you want this image to be larger, you can change the sizing here by making the cell larger or smaller. Same thing to get this calendar image all the way across. You're just going to copy it. Um, you can copy and paste it if you wanted to, or you can drag it across like we did with the text. Now below, here I'm going to show you how to do a link. So you're going to type, maybe you want to do a calendar that you've already done together, or maybe you want to link it to a Google Slides that you want to have them complete. Um, you can simply type in, you could just say YouTube video. Now I'm going to grab the link from my morning routine video that I've done to share with y'all. I'm going to copy the link. I'm going to go back to this and we are going to insert a link, copy or paste it in there. And then I am going to drag this across just like I did the other ones. And now when you click here, you'll be able to open up that video in another tab, whether you are looking at it or you want to send this out to parents and have them do it with their students, you can have them do that. 
you don't have to worry about doing it. So then 945 after this, this is when students went to specials. So I would type specials, drag it across the top so that I don't have to retype all of that in there. And then we're going to look for the specials. Now specials might be a little different than like the drag across all the way. So let's say that on Monday, and it might be different, so every week you might have to change out the, the image. Um, you have art, so we're going to add art here into that box, and then insert image in the cell, and you can easily browse and or you can drag it into. So let's say that we have, let's do music. Oh, library, perfect. We're gonna put library into that cell and you could just fill in these cells with the different specials that your students are going to have. And you will fill in your whole schedule and when it's finished, you will have a schedule that has icons, you can add links. So if, you, if you're doing virtual learning and today's art, you want the kids to do some sort of art lesson, um, you could link to an art lesson on YouTube or within another platform. If you wanted to link to a story being read or if you've read a story, if you have it in a Google Drive, you can add the Google Drive link here. If you wanted them to complete a specific digital resource, you could link that digital resource here. You have a lot of options. And then again, over here on the side, you could type up what the different objectives are for each of the pieces of your lesson plan for that day or that week, what specific standards you're going to be covering from your state standards, um, any books that you're going to be reading. If you wanted to add any extra links, if you're sending this out to parents, you could certainly do that. Another great idea when you're working with this lesson plan is to name them at the bottom. So right now I'm down here. If you double click, you can put the week or the day of the week that it starts with. And then if you wanted to do um, next week and you want to keep it all together, if you just hit duplicate, now you have a copy. It's the same thing, but this is now a copy. And you could edit this one, change out some of the links, change your specials up a little bit, but then the images will stay the same and you won't have to redo them next week. I hope this video was helpful in teaching you how to use the Google Sheets to input your images and your links to create an editable class schedule that you can either use for your in-person classroom hybrid learning, send it out to your parents, share it with admin as your lesson plan for the week, and it helps you do what you do best, and that's teach.